can go dead straight, not flexing, just letting gravity straighten the knee. And then if I curl my hamstring, I've got about that much range. So yeah, you know, I've been training a long time and I've had some injuries, but this was definitely the biggest one ever. Uh, I ruptured my left quad tendon completely. Um, it came off a kneecap. And uh, I mean, it's not much you can do about that, but get it fixed. So how did I tear it? Well, you know, in hindsight, it's the same old stupid story that I've heard from a million people. Um, didn't happen in the gym, <laughs> almost never does. We were shooting um, like a bit for Mutant. It was, it was supposed to be a funny bit where we were all just goofing off. You know, obviously we didn't want to put anyone in a position of actually getting hurt. And here I'm the one that gets hurt. So it really sucked, but there was high quality gymnastics uh, equipment available to us and we were just rolling around on the mats and being goofy and there was a trampoline that you could jump off of it into this mat and I thought I won't get hurt because I used to do flips and I used to ride freestyle bikes and I used to mogul ski and I used to flip through the air and hurl my body through the air it was just second nature to me and I know it's been a long time but I still thought I'd be able to do a front flip off this trampoline onto this extremely forgiving mat so I just jumped and I did a flip and I landed on my feet and you know, squatted down into the mat. And when I kind of hit the bottom of my motion, bang, I just felt the whole quad tendon pop off the knee and I knew immediately what had happened. And I just rolled off the mat and had my knee in my hands and, and it hurt so much. So that was a really hard time was um, from Wednesday when I tore it to uh, when I finally got it fixed. So I, I saw my ortho Thursday morning and he told me, yep, that's a full tear for sure. Let's get you in within 72 hours. And then Saturday came and they, they called me and they said, come in at one. And I gotta thank him, Dr. Perry. He, uh, he really did a great job on, on me. And, and he really got, did a great job of firing me up because he was telling me like, I'm not putting a splint on this. You're just gonna go home. I was kind of amazed. I didn't know how bad it was gonna be. And everyone in the operating room was commenting because I, I went into the into the process, I had this huge smile on my face. And even the resident that helped him was like, why are you so happy? <laughs> I was like, because I'm getting it fixed. And I, I imagine most of the people they see going in for surgery are maybe scared or stressed out, but I was just ex super excited. And then the next thing I knew, I was out cold. So they, they gave me some general anesthetic and, and in a split second I woke up and my knee was fixed. And I was like, fuck, awesome. <laughs> let's, let's go forward now. I'm just waiting for the swelling and to go down. And then on Tuesday, I get the stitches or the staples removed. And that's gonna be a big deal because the staples are a real hindrance with the swelling and trying to move it. So, you know, one day at a time, but it's knocking down.